Now I gotta ride or die So guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have the keys to this 2008 Ford Fiesta z -Tech S Celebration Edition. 30 years of the Fiesta, I suppose, is what they were celebrating at the time. But today, I'm taking this out for a young driver's review. There's many, many people out there that are getting maybe their first, second, or third cars at around 20 years old. And I'm gonna tell you guys why this z -Tech S, the Celebration Edition, is a good shout for you to go and buy, insure, enjoy, and modify. But as ever, guys, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. But let's find some B-Roads, see what this car's all about. may or may not remember we actually shot one of these about four years ago but we didn't go too much into detail about you actually owning one of these and that's what i try and do with some of these cars i try and take it on a drive as we can't to a red light already but we try and take it on a drive and explain uh sort of why you would go down this route for your first car or second car or third car now the owner of this car is 19 years old this ford fiesta celebration is one of 400 ever made so they did uh yellow ones green ones like this one and red ones now i'd say the green one is sort of my favorite with the checkered roof because that's how they came from the factory now this one is number 506 as you'll see by the overlay video now i think it was the first 400 were yellow the second half were green and then the later half were red again if i am wrong please leave a comment below but yeah they were sort of broken up into one to 400 and then 401 and so on number 506 is this one and i do believe that these cars are going to be worth some money in the not so distant future they're going to go down as uh sort of a special edition obviously because they are but because they were so low numbers that to me would be a very interesting buying point for me because i'd want one uh, that wasn't necessarily like the other ones but I will say now you will pay a premium to have one of these in your life costs of these cars are around three and a half to four maybe even more thousand pounds this one today is on 52,000 miles so you'll be looking around four grand for the one that I'm driving today now yes you can go and buy z -Tech S tomorrow for you know a thousand pounds if you so wish to but I quite like the idea if you do have the money to get yourself into one of these celebration editions of the Mark VI Fiesta. Another talking point would be why you just wouldn't go for an ST. The ST is, you know, 50 brake horsepower more than this 100 brake horsepower model z -Tech S. But I do feel after driving one of those with a black box, because that's the only way the owner of that car could actually physically insure that car at a young age, I think you'd be genuinely better off in a z -Tech S rather Rather than going for the ST but having to have a black box that's sort of the general consensus as to why I think this is a better option when you're younger you can build up a no claims in this car it won't be silly money for you to drive it around enjoy it for the first couple of years of your driving life and then move yourself into an ST I understand there's a lot of people out there that just would go and buy the ST but I do feel you'd be better off in a ZTEC S of course as you can hear second gear pull this is not standard, this one. It's lowered on JOM eBay coilovers, which if you're out there and you're on a budget, they drive fantastic. It actually tracks, it's really comfy in here considering this is on JOM coilovers. I've personally put JOM coilovers on two or three of my previous cars in the past, so I do know they're actually quite good for the money. It's sat on a set of Japan racing wheels and it's got a Cobra exhaust system on it. All of these things culminate to, yes, more insurance now this car is fully insured with all of the mods on it another thing to point out but it only went up 
15% on the premium. If you were to get an ST and do the same thing to it, I do believe that you were gonna be paying a lot more money in a percentage on top of your initial spend of actually getting the car. So, if you do want to modify a ZTEC S and still be able to insure it with all the mods declared, this is key, this is key information for all the people out there that want to go and do stuff to their car because I was the same when I was younger. I wanted to do loads of stuff to my cars and I was so worried about doing stuff and then insurance bending me over a barrel to try and get more money out of me. Obviously that's down to different insurance companies and whether they want to charge you for modifying your car but you've got to tell. So yeah, 15% increase on the premium isn't too bad at the owner's age of 19. Tax is around 240 pound a year for this 1.6 litre ZTEC S. And it's doing around 30 MPG. 30 MPG being when you're enjoying it. It will obviously do more than that when you're just pooling around like I am right now through puddles, which is typical UK. But yeah, you should experience around a 30 MPG. You just feel like if you're a bit younger, I understand the ST sounds like a better deal, but if you can get yourself into a nice premium version of the ZTEC S, these come with full levers from the factory, which of course the ZTEC S's didn't, you would have to go into the ST range to actually get that leather interior, which has obviously, as you can see, been taken out by this one, but replaced with Recaro Corsa VXR seats, which I'm a huge fan of, and I think they offset the actual condition and feel of this car inside just updates it a little bit yeah so i do believe obviously we're trying not to pitch this car against an st i don't have an st with me today so pitching those two cars together is a bit of a struggle but financially if you are younger say you're 19 20 years old you know money isn't grown on trees you've got to go and work for it and i do think that if you can get yourself into a car like this the benefits are that it is cheaper to insure than an st it is very very easy to modify i mean the modified car community is flooded with parts from these mark 6 generation fiestas and i do think you're not going to lose money in a car like this if you put that initial three and a half to four thousand pounds into this car buying it i don't think you're going to come out the other side upside down in it you're really not a good one's hard to find a low mileage one is hard to find i would say after looking around on the internet and having a little nose at what you can really buy for your money i do feel that if you are young and you want one of these even if it's not the celebration model i would say get that and then get the st you'll see the benefit financially and in what that car is capable of because you don't want a black box in an ST. I'm gonna say it again, you do not want that. I'd rather a ZTEC S with no black box than an ST with one. That's just the way it is. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. What do you think of this as a first, second or third young driver's car? And would you buy one over an ST with a black box in it? Interesting scenarios, interesting. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one.